What's good? It's your boy Rico. <sighs> Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Duel. Can I just tell you, tonight has been super stressful. And I'm being quiet again because my friend is sleeping and it's 2 a.m. I've been up all night trying to get some games in. Uh, but if you noticed from my last video, I got two, not one, but two Mega Blastoise, both Mega Zards, the Gengar, and the Malamar. I was pretty upset, so I had I also got two Charizards, and I fused one away, not thinking of anything. But I could have used both Mega Zards in my deck, and used Mega Zard X for one, and then when he petered out, I could use that Mega Zard Y. I'm pretty upset that I fused them. I'm looking forward to another. I'm looking to get another blast. No, I could probably just fuse these away, right? There's no reason to keep two megas of the same, so I could probably fuse these away. Um, but I'm gonna show you the decks that I've been trying to work with tonight. And uh, let me just—I got to tell you—it's super stressful. Uh, I've been using this water deck. I don't have the mana fee, so my water deck is complete trash. Okay. And uh, this is a this is the the poison the status deck that I've been trying to use, and I created also a sleep deck. Um, but if you'll take a look at my rating, uh, I'm still in 3K. I dropped, I lost like five games, one like three. Ugh, it, it was so stressful. But I have two games, so we're gonna jump in and we're gonna watch them. They're they're recaps, so I'm gonna go try and go play by play. But I'm probably gonna mess up. But please just bear with me. So give me one second. All right, um, here we go. We're gonna call this, this match was actually my Gengar versus a Mega Gengar. Like when this person had a Mega Gengar, I was super excited. I have the 5K materials. Should I spend it on the Mega Gengar? Like, I already got the Verizion, I already got the Zapdos. I kind of want the Mega um, Gengar. Anybody, anybody get Mega Venusaur? I don't even know what Mega Venusaur can actually do. So, um, but anyway, so take a look at my opponent. This is his team. Got the X Speed, which I think he did use, and I was kind of excited to see how that worked too. But actually, by the time I actually played this match, I was I was so mad. Like I've lost, I lost three in a row, and then I beat the bug, and now I'm playing this guy, and I'm just like super frustrated here. Uh, so, oh, I remember what happened this game. Alright, so my opponent starts bringing out their uh, Gengar, and what I wanted to do here is I thought I would bring up my uh, Seismitoad just so I can be like, hey, you probably don't want to attack me, because if you do, you're going to be poisoned. Got hair all over me. Uh, brings up the Umbreon. I think I challenge with the uh, Malamar, and I do. Oh, can I just tell you, Malamar has missed so much for me. So much. Uh, and then, yeah, Zapdos. So this team that I have, a huge problem. Any gold tackers. Just a gold tacker, period. So when he saw, when I saw he had a Zapdos, I was like, uh, this is going to be annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I actually played a, a, a game earlier where, oh, dude, make uh, Malamar and Gengar were both rolling misses in situations to, that favored me so heavily. I was just so upset. Okay, so the reason why I move up my uh, Gengar here is because I'm hoping that my opponent's Gengar will either attack my Seismitoad or the Ombreon will attack my Malamar in the event that I either poison one or um, put one to sleep, and then I would swap spot with my Gengar. And then I would uh, hop over him, and then I would KO. <clears throat> so yeah, as my opponent starts advancing with the Reshiram, I knew I had to take the entry point. Otherwise, he would probably attack my Venusaur. Go for that fly. Go for the cheesy win. Here, I decide to double chance with the uh, Dark Rai, hoping he would get fly. And if he didn't, I would hope I would get the Dark Void. But I get the Dark Leap, and here I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, do I want to do it? Because if I don't, eh, 
and I get the Dark Pulse. I'm so upset. And if I didn't, I would have to move. Yeah, and on Banish. I would have to move in front of the Reshiram. And then I get surrounded next turn. So it, it was it was a risky move. And it didn't work out for my it didn't work out for me in my favor. Oh yeah, and she does get to use the X speed. Gonna get that gold attack, and I'm like, oh man. Fortunately. <sighs> Fortunately they got the miss. I got the sleep. And then I get to show off the swap spot. And the ability. Get to show off Gengar's ability if there is a status condition. If they're sleep, poisoned, or noxious, and you jump over them, they're knocked out. Let's see, what's my point of thinking to do here? I, I really don't remember much of this game. Like I said, at this point, I was pretty frustrated and furious. Double chances my Malamar, I'm pretty sure he takes him out. Oh no, that happened. <laughs> I do remember that. And he gets a Thunder Crash again. Poor Zapdos. I believe that was the right move to make, honestly. I mean, maybe advance with the Zekrom. I need to start investing cubes into these uh, these mons. What do I do here? So the reason why I tacked with my um, Seismitoad instead of advancing or doing anything with my Gengar is because I wanted to make the Magmar um, poisoned. And because I have the Venusaur on the board, now he's negative one MP. Probably... Oh, and... Did... Oh, see, this pissed me off. I get the Nightshade. I KO the... Um... Suicune, but it puts me... I'm frozen now. See, I should have taken that point with Gengar. And I'm looking at his ability, and I'm like, oh my god. That Gengar's healed, and I was I was so pissed. Like, <sighs> I swear, tonight, every deck that I played against countered the teams that I that I brought, and it was, it was super frustrating. I get freaking toxic here. It's hoping to get the sleep. It's hoping to get the sleep, but it didn't happen. It wasn't even a good move anyway, because even if I did get the sleep, he would have moved on with the rest of the and woke him up. So that was actually uh, that was a bad play. It was a misplay completely. My poor Gengar. <laughs> so at first, when I was running this deck, um, I didn't have the max revive. I had, I think, I think I had like a, a hurdle jump, and after that, I was like, nope, I, I need the max revive because Gengar dies too often. Super frustrated. So his uh, opponents moving up with Reshiram. I see the um, the Ombreon's in sight this whole time, but I was like, I really don't want to bring Zapdos back on the board because Zapdos counters, he hard counters every single one of my mods here. And fortunately, I get the Sleep Powder again on the Reshiram, so what I decided to do here is I move close to the goal just to make my opponent um, have to play some defense. Which he does, and I think I just move... Do I, what, what am I trying to do here? Am I going for a game? Hoping that he gets the Fly Away or I get the Nightshade. I think something bad happens here, I can't remember. Oh, I did get the shade. My opponent has gold block? Yeah, he does gold block. What does he go with? Is it Gengar? Oh yeah, it is Gengar. I totally for and I totally forgot he's got the Gengar. Uh, the Mega Gengar. Again, could have taken out the Ombreon, but... If I did, Suicune would be would have brought, been brought back on the board, and Reshiram would have woke up again. I didn't want that to happen. So here, now I have to move because I don't want my uh, Gengar to die, and I move my Seismitoad right in the way. Now we threaten to KO either the Ombreon or the Zapdos. 
he notices that and he uh, retreats. Oh, so here I was thinking of. I was thinking of hopping over the Gengar. But if I did that, then the side or the Zapdos would have taken Gengar's place. And I would like I was gonna dink to hurdle over and then next turn try to surround with the Seismitoad. But I figured he wasn't gonna do that. So I decided to switch here with the Venusaur. Because I wanted to KO this Reshiram. He gets the roost again. Unfortunate roll for my opponent. Oh yeah. So the reason why I didn't this was this was such a good play on my point um, on my part. I was like, you know what? I could take out the Reshi round, but if I move up my um, Crobat, it threatens that side of the the board, the entry point, and then the Venusaur is already by the Gengar. I have opportunity to end the game. Attacks me, I get the Quake. And now I take the entry point. What does my opponent do here? Because just looking at the scenario, bad things could happen. That was such a that was such a huge huge mistake on my part right there because the rest I think he does attack with Reshiram Ram too. I should have been aware of that. And I think I was. After that happened, I was like, oh no, I messed up. Please don't hit the fly, please don't hit the fly, please don't hit the fly. Look at how long the wheel is spinning because I'm like, oh my god. Got a very fortunate roll there. And here, here I'm still checking out the ability because I'm so like distraught. I was like, dude, how? Dodge in the shuttle, I believe. What happens here? But as you can tell, it's 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 pretty much GG because at this point I'm up five months to two, and 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 this is a video, so you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so he does. He brings on the Mega Gengar. Who does he attack though? Venusaur. I think he takes out my Venusaur. He does. Make, can I just say Mega Mega Gengar's uh, play figure looks completely awesome. Here, I decided to move my Gengar. I didn't want to be too aggressive because I know that the Mega Gengar can uh, go through us. Attacks my Gengar with his Gengar. Mega Gengar is doing work. Pretty sure I move up uh, Malamar. Yep. This is where my opponent makes a mistake. Yeah, attacks my Seismitoad for some reason. Don't know why. But, get the bumpy vibration and. We get to KO this monster. And instead of continuing playing, my opponent didn't want to attack my Malamar. I'm pretty sure he forfeits. Yep, forfeits right there. And uh, we're going to jump in on the next video. Okay. Alright, you guys ready? Here we go. Okay, so I want to talk about <sighs> War Turtle is impossible. It's impossible to evolve. Like I, I, I like uh, Mega Blastoise's ability, or not his ability, but the uh, the blue. But it, there's no way you're gonna evolve a Squirtle, and there's no it and. War Turtle is really hard to evolve. You have to have an X attack, and you basically only have to attack runners. But people this high, they know that. Well, most, well, everyone that I faced did it, so I couldn't. I, that's why I didn't. I don't have the uh, War Turtle in there. I I did for like four games, and I, like I said, I was losing. And I was so pissed off. 
So I just change it just to Blastoise. So I'm holding opponent brings on the Mew, I bring on the uh, Greninja, and at this point he puts up right on the entry point, and this is a game of chess now, because we're, we're basically trying to do the, we're trying to set up the matchups. So when I'm looking at this team, I think of Zekrom, Reshiram, and um, Moltres are my best shots at attacking with the uh, Mega Blastoise, because of that large blue. And they have large whites. So here I'm just I'm waiting I'm waiting for my, my opponent to lead with the Reshiram or the Zekrom because that's who I want to attack. Brings up the Moltres. I thought about bringing Blastoise on for a second, but I was like, I don't want to because I don't want to I don't want to risk being attacked. So I decided to bring on my uh, Swamper. And can I just tell you, these new decks that I'm playing are like level one. So all <laughs> my misses are huge and it, it's so it's so frustrating. So let's bring up the Seismitoad here. What do I do? I think... Oh yeah, so I challenge the Swampert with the Moltres. And if he moves up the Seismitoad, I'm just going to bring up the, uh, the Suicune. So he brings up the Zekrom on that side, and I'm like, okay, this is good. So we know what side it's going to be on. We know that we're going to start advancing with the Blastoise. So hopefully he doesn't move up the Reshiram, because I want to put my Reshiram or the um, Zekrom on the left side, because I wanted to bring up my Blastoise on the board first. But now that he did, I'm like, I'm hesitant because if he attacks, and I know he's got the overdrive, if he attacks my Blastoise, I'm in trouble. But I decided to take a risk. I'm like, maybe, maybe he won't do it. Maybe he'll advance the Sweet Coon. Maybe he'll do something else. Or she. Goes to the place, so I'm like, oh no. Oh no. I'm stressing out here. I'm like, please don't. But ends the turn, and I'm like, oh, it's time. It's time. It's time to do it. So I just wanted to preface this right now. If you evolve from Blastoise to Mega Blastoise and you land the blue, you get to make your opponent spin twice. Okay. But I don't. Don't hit the blue. Super, super, super sad. And here at this point, I was hoping, I was like, okay, please don't bring on the Sweet Coon, because all I want to do is either attack the Moltres or the Zekrom next. That's what I want to do. But he brings on... The sweet coon, and I'm like, all right, well, let's double chance it, you know. He's got two large, he's got two decent sized dodge, but hopefully he doesn't hit dodge. Hits dodge, and I, I was just like, come on, dude. There goes two turns. I wasted two turns. I was super upset at this point. I think my opponent got a little scared here. Decided to retreat a little bit. With Moltres, maybe. Zekrom. And like I said, I, don't, I have very limited time. So I have to attack this weekend. I have to. And he gets the Hydro Pump. And I was thinking about it. I was like, ugh. Do I want to? I, I kind of wanted to, just to try and get take out two mods. I want to take a risk, but didn't happen. Might as well take out two mods. Now I'm up uh, six to four. My last turn, and I'm like, I have to. Like, I have to. Hopefully I can get a double kill here. I, even though I know I'm going to poison myself, but I'm going to lose the Mega after this. So I'm like, why not? Okay. Okay. I'm like, please. Please, let's get it. Let's get it. So, uh, yeah, that's my uh, Mega Blastoise video, or game. Y you don't get to see the blue, and I was really upset. Like, I, I actually got it, I got it in other games, but uh, I only got one KO. I had to get two KO, so I didn't, I scrapped it, I didn't keep it, but I'm pretty sad here. Point. This boy rolled two misses. Two misses in a row. Oh, two misses. I can't do a peace sign like this anymore, because you guys are saying it's disrespectful, which I, it's on Wikipedia, and it is. But I, I never, I of course, am ignorant to that. I would never try and disrespect you guys like that. Apparently it means uh, F you. But uh, like I said, I, I don't, I wouldn't do that. But RNG came back, came back around after I get two misses, he gets two misses. I'm still poisoned though. I think at this point,
point, what I what I'm trying to do here is advance with my uh, Empoleon because I have one entry point, and I'm going to try and start getting the other one. I mean, if you if you take a look, he's got a Moltres and a Reshiram, and my mods are not that good against the the Swampert and the Empoleon. Tries to attack me out in the dodge. Thank God. So yeah, so now I'm starting to advance, which it's, I, I mean, I don't know what else to do at this point. I don't really have anything that can do anything. I just got to survive rolls. Guess the fly. <laughs> so this is, this this next couple turns is, it's kind of funny because it just goes between Reshiram and uh, Suicune as I start advancing. That's a downfall of twins. I actually want to make a deck with twins because I have the twins, but I've never used them. And it gets fly again. Like I said, the next couple turns, it's, it's pretty comical. So here, now that I have uh, two points of Moltres covered, I'm trying to get this Moltres off the board. That's what I'm trying to do. Text, I think it's one more fly. Nope, I lose that battle. That's what happened. Oh, and I get banished. So anyway, I'm uh, threatening that Moltres again. Attacks. <laughs> and then that happens. <sighs> oh, after after a stressful night, I, your boy Rico starts to get some RNG. It would have been nice if that Moltres hit that purple. That would have been phenomenal. I would have been so happy. Could have trapped the Moltres here, but I thought it would be more important to take the entry point. So that's what I do instead. Checking out my plate, seeing seeing what I what I can do here. I'm pretty sure I get knocked out. Nope, I don't. I think I end up getting knocked out eventually. So I'm checking my plates, and I I so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna swap with the Empoleon and attack that Mew because Empoleon counters Mew pretty good. And he ends up taking me out, and I'm like, all right, here we go reward me for making such a great play. I'm like, this is going to be so awesome. Reward me, please. Why? Why? Like, why? That was such a good play. Just reward me so I can go home and get back into 3k. Uh, but no. And then that happens. So I believe here, I take the entry point, why? No, I attack the Mew, that's exactly what I do, because, like I said, Empoleon counters Mew so hard. I don't think he has a, oh, he does have a goal. Wow, he still had a goal. So even though if I did hit the previous turn, he would have goal blocked anyway, and I would have taken the entry point, and it would have been a back and forth battle with uh, Reshiram and Swapper, but my opponent doesn't have to hurdle jump me, he doesn't have to use the gold block because he can soar over me. So I decided to take this opportunity to take the entry point, and now I need to start advancing my um, Suicune. Oh, I feel bad. I'm pretty sure I win this battle. Definitely probably would have been smarter to use to attack with the Reshiram rather than the Moltres. But I mean again I, I was I was burned, so either or I just I think he had a better statistic. Um, statistically had a better shot at taking out my uh, or attacking with Reshiram on my uh, Swamper. But he does and I get the tractor and I'm like, ooh. Ooh, this is good, because now he has weight. Now I can get right next to the goal, and now my opponent has to use the, uh, the goal block. Use the goal block, and I'm like, all right, so now I'm going to start advancing with my uh, Suicune, and then depending on what my opponent does next, 
determines if I'm going to attack with my uh, Swampert or not. But I was def that was 99% of the time of the of whatever my opponent was going to do, I was probably going to attack with the uh, Swampert. Pulls out the exact room and I'm like here, I don't have a goal, I don't have a hurdle, I don't have anything, it's, it's time. <sighs> all, now all I gotta do is survive this attack. That's it. Survive this attack, we can go home. <sighs> and I did. I survived the attack. And uh, that's it. That's game. Got the weight win. Um, all right, so it's two thirty. I have to make. I have to render this video now. We. I'm waking up at seven because PAX was crazy, and tomorrow's gonna be even more packed. And we need to get there early to to get in lines. Um, I'm excited to edit the the vlog video, but uh, yeah. Until then, guys. Peace.